Hey everybody, it's Julie here. Sorry I didn't get back. I was said the other couple days ago, I did a blog post and said, I'll see you tomorrow. And of course, life takes over and it gets crazy and it gets hectic. Anyone else out there with me on that one? Uh, I bet just about everybody. Um, anyway, it's Monday. We just went through a crazy weekend full of snow. Um, I know a lot of you people were checking and were putting out photos and we basically got snowed in yesterday. We couldn't get out until this morning. They actually plowed our street this morning. It took that long. Um, and we, we uh, finally made it out. I'm still actually working on the other half of the driveway because <laughs> our snowblower decided to die. So um, shoveling it out, which has been tons of fun. I got half of it done anyway. So uh, yeah, life sometimes uh, takes over. Things happen and you uh, don't quite get uh, done what you want to do due to weather. Anyway, this weekend was fun. Um, I, as you know, some of the people, if you're new to this page or seeing me, my daughter's a um, competitive dancer. And she had the opportunity to work with this guy, Eric, from LA, who was phenomenal. Um, they spent uh, basically Friday night and all day Saturday training with him, learning this new routine, which I only saw a piece of the video from the side, but it looks absolutely amazing. And just like, I just, I'm a wow and in awe at how choreographs really, you know, think and process and, and come together with these numbers. You know, he, he um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't about who was at the front or who was doing what is, you could just see how he's, you know, looked at it at the height and put those people that were around the same height and work those pieces together and into one routine. And I just, it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's so fast. I've never seen choreography so quick and it's a hip hop routine if I haven't mentioned that. And I can't wait to see them practice. Actually, it should be a ton of fun. And if you're still hearing me, it's still going good. Sorry, I blinked you out for a minute. Um, yeah, it was just like amazing at how quick um, the routine was. So I was really blown away by that. And, you know, if you want something, you have to go after it and do whatever it takes to get there. And I will say that Abby and I'm sure a lot of the other kids are still hurting today from that, to, from that two days. But absolutely worth it. As you know, most people in business, if you want to make something happen, you have to do whatever it takes to get there, you know, and it may take time and it could go fast. It could go slow. It just depends on where you're at and how quick you're willing to go and, and learning all the stuff. And I know life sometimes gets crazy, hectic and busy, but we have to do it um, in our own time. And that's okay. Baby steps. And that's what I do. Anyway, it's Monday. So I just a uh, word out there to, you know, what are you going to do this week? That's going to pursue pursue your things that you love to do what one thing or what you know what we're trying to do every day is what key what five key things can you do today that could propel you forward into the dreams and passions the things that you want to do like write it out maybe you haven't done it today but it's a thought for this week what one to five things could you do that you've been putting off that scare you maybe or you just don't love to do but you know you have to do it and make a list of those things and make sure in your day things, your daily things, put those things first. Because if you get those done, those five things done first, you'll be amazed at how quick and how great your day will go. So anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful Monday. And I know to all you um, in the U.S., you're coming up to Thanksgiving. So hope you have a great time with family and friends and not too much shopping. I hear Black Friday. And... We don't quite do that, but our, our summer malls are actually going to do it this Friday, which is kind of funny. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to be one of those crazy ones up at the crack of dawn to shop. Anyway, I hope you're all having a fabulous day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.